Dr. Morales, I have received, been given many, many introductions, none as wonderful as that. I wasn't even sure it was me. The Alumni Association did a fabulous job this evening. If they could redo me the way they did this room, I maybe could be a Judge Judy. I want to give specific thanks to Marla and to Virginia and also to the dinner committee, the activities committee, and the awards committee. Thank you all so much. You, you know, I've always been proud to be a Brooklyn College alumna. And so when I was called to be told that I'd be getting this prestigious award, I was thrilled. And I thought to myself, what could be better than this? And then I found out there was a young alumna award. And I was like, that's the one I won. <laughs> Believe me, it's not that I'm not grateful, but I know they had to maintain some credibility. <laughs> but the reason we're all here, all of us, is because in some way, Brooklyn College has formed the foundation for our success. And what's been so obvious about this evening, from tonight's array of distinguished honorees, we go from, from teachers, and from educators, to doctors, from chiefs to chefs. But what's apparent here is that the real star tonight, the real star is Brooklyn College. With its diverse student body and the 70 different degrees that it gives out, Brooklyn College continues to attract the most talented and successful young adults. You know, when I was in high school and it was my, you know, in the end we had to select a college, I knew two things. One, I knew I would go to college, and two, I knew it would be Brooklyn College. And that was because of all the CUNY schools, Brooklyn College had the most outstanding reputation. And also because my mother attended Brooklyn College, and she was very uh, encouraging and persuasive about my coming here. Um, and you know, life is very strange. It's sort of ironic, and there's a lot of coincidence involved. And what's interesting is that in my yearbook, which was dedicated to the development and the history of Brooklyn College, um, based its changes and um, from downtown Brooklyn to where it currently stands today and all the historic events that were involved. One of these being Eleanor Roosevelt speaking on the college campus outside Boylan Hall. And of course many photographs were taken to, uh, to commemorate the event. Some of those photographs actually appeared in my uh, yearbook, which of course was dedicated to all the, the, the history involved in Brooklyn College. And as I said, life is often coincidences and ironies. And on that great lawn, on that particular day, in the crowd listening to Eleanor Roosevelt speak, in my yearbook, on page 51, <laughs> is a photograph of my mother. <laughs> Campus ground. I have to tell you, she found it waiting up for me to come home one night. And she goes, Patricia, I'm in the yearbook. And sure enough, I went and I and I I, I asked everyone, please, could you get me a copy of the yearbook? And I had this blown up yesterday. So I have to tell you that it was a coincidence that she was in the book, and ironically, she will always be a part of my history at Brooklyn College. So I am honored and I'm flattered to be chosen to receive the distinguished not so young alumna award <laughs> and to be part of Brooklyn College's history of outstanding past, present, and future honorees. Thank you all so much.